Welcome back. This week we are anchored in what looks like a swimming pool. Let's see what we get up to. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Last time at this magical place. We are leaving today. We've become very attached to this place. We are going to miss it, especially our mornings here. So we're leaving Wyag today. We're not sure where we're heading, but we've got to go back. It's that time of the month where we've got to go do our extension for our visa and uh, stock up on food. But oh, it's been incredible here. We dropped the anchor here about 10 nautical miles away from Wag near Sayong Island. Anchoring here felt like we were anchored in a big swimming pool. What a beautiful new backyard.
While the kids were scurfing, Tara and I thought it would be a nice idea to swim to the little sand island nearby. Flying the drone, Lee spotted something quite large swimming not too far away from us. He didn't want to alarm us, so we went to have a closer look from above and Matt got in the dinghy just in case we needed to get out of the water. Meanwhile, we were oblivious to the potential danger that was possibly close by casually swimming along to the island, having a lovely time. Lee got close and determined, yes, it's a shark and quite a large one at that. But with further investigation, he confirmed the shark was a shovel nose or guitar shark. They have a body similar to a shark and a head similar to a ray. While they look like a shark, they are in fact related to the ray family. A guitar shark or a guitar fish's mouth is located at the bottom of its shovel-shaped head, determining that this shark ray fish is no threat to us. We didn't see it, we were swimming. Was it near us? Was it a guitar shark? Once we got to the island, Lee had told us what had happened and how our lovely little swim was a little nerve wracking for the husbands. I just went up to have a look to see if I could see anything. Hey mum. So you guys, there's you guys there, right? This is my favourite, when there's a little island nearby to stretch out your legs and search for shells on the beach. This is how we spent the afternoon until the sun went down. There was lots of seabirds on this island and we came across this cute little baby hiding out here. Today, we didn't leave super early. We've done, I think, about 70 nautical miles today. I will have to check that, but I think we've done a, a pretty big day. Uh, we had some current with us at the start, so we went a little bit slow, but yeah, we have uh, been motoring pretty much all day. 10 nautical miles to go, and it's about 6 pm, so we'll probably get in about 8 pm. Not ideal, but we have been in there before, so that's what's going on. What are you doing, Shave? And we're going diving. Gotta look presentable for the fish. 
halfway through a shave here but anyway if you don't have a shave before you dive chances are you could leak around your mask so I don't risk it I'm nice and clean cut and the fish look at me and they just come around so if you do have a beard and you don't want to shave, there is a tip, you put Vaseline in it, right? Yeah, it is. You can use Vas, but I don't risk it. The tide doesn't wait for anyone. Not even okay. you, you handsome boy. All right, let's roll. Today we're in Raja Ampat at a little island called Cree. Anyway, guys, you know what you do before a little dive. The old slip, slop and slap. Well, actually, you don't slop and slap. You just put the sunscreen on. So hat's no good to me when I'm diving. I had a mate send through a image of him and he had a big cut from his lip down to his chin and he had a cancer removed and he's a little bit older than me. He's an old fella, not like me. Yeah, it was a bit scary. So I'll put on an extra layer of zinc today after seeing that. Makes me nervous, the old skin cancer and all. Melanoma when she was 18. Cancer survivor, everybody. <laughs> She's a survivor. <laughs> do, 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 do. Darling, there's no time to be playing with your bread. <laughs> We're going diving right now. Cape Cree is a world famous dive site. That's a lovely boaty. hold your spare rig. Deep enough there. 2.7. At certain points along the reef, the current really picks up as it sweeps up from the depths and over the ridge. This is where we have to take care because there are potentially dangerous down currents. And even though we have an expert boaty on the surface, none of us have dived here before. So we take extra precaution to stay all together. This is a drift dive, which means you go with the current, taking in all the surroundings as we float by. This site holds the title for Raja Ampat's highest number of fish species recorded on one dive. Cape Cree had 374 fish species recorded on this dive, ranking it in the world's top five most numerous fish species dive. This dive had it all. Colourful reef, small fish, big fish, schools of barracuda, pelagics, sharks, turtles, and who knows what this fish is. He's a bit grumpy looking, but he's also quite pretty. What do you reckon? This is a scorpion or a stonefish, and we stay clear of these guys because they're actually poisonous and shouldn't be touched. At the end of the dive, we inflate our yellow sausage so our Bodhi Terra can find us.
a good dive. It was hectic. It was a hectic dive. <laughs> I had my camera broke. Things were hanging. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. We hope it made you smile. Please like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And we'll catch you next time.